There's always a point in every chess player's journey where they get to the point where they think, what do I need to do to get better? And out of all the things that there is to get better at, what are the things that I suck at? What are the things that I'm good at? So I was recently at the North American Open in Las Vegas and in the chess store there, there was a nice little exam book that I could take to help me figure out what my strengths are, how good I am at the game of chess and what I need to do to improve the game of chess. This exam was written by an international master who coaches students and I was always perplexed with the question, how do I best evaluate my students' positions and what do I need to do as a coach to make them better. So he came out with the chess exam book, which came out with about a hundred different puzzles to help you evaluate where you are, what your strength is and what you can do to get better and use those results to then kind of identify what are your strengths and weaknesses based on about nine different categories. So basically there's two questions with each of these problems. Usually it's like an evaluate the position and then based on these four moves, what is the best four moves to make? So in this position, you have to think to yourself, who's better here with white to move? Is black winning? Is this a draw? Is white slightly better? Is white winning? You have to make a choice between those four choices. And then after you evaluate the position, you have to come up with the best move here. So is it going B6 to B7 and attacking the rook? Is it going B6 taking A7, attacking this and letting this drop? Or is it going E5 to E4, F3 to F2, and then going D8 to F8? Or is it going E5 to E4, F3 to F2, and then then going B6 to B7. So pause the video in this position and try to figure out yourself if black is winning, if white is winning, and then what the best sequence of move is out of the four that I just described for you. So if you thought that white was winning in this position, you were wrong like I was, this is actually a draw because the reason being after going king to E4 and then going F2 and then pushing up to B7 is a draw after going queen to F1 here, after you queen and take the rook here, black has a skewer, and after the king moves, black's winning, but with perfect play by white, it's a draw by going d5, king to d1, king to d3, and then basically the kings will dance back and forth until it's a draw because there's no way for either side to get an advantage. So I missed the first question there of evaluate the position and I thought white was winning. I mean, I did get that this uh, king to f4 after going f2 you push here is the best move, but I missed why it's the best move because of that skewer there. And because of that skewer, instead of getting five points, I got two points. So out of a total of 10 points for this question, I ended up getting two. And so there's 100 questions just like that, all very complicated puzzles. I basically did all of those, calculated all my scores, put them all in these different categories, and I now have the results of that test. And you can see here, these are the results of my test. Overall, based on a score of 1,000 max points that you can get, I got 440. So I scored 44 points on this chess test. It took me about four or five days to complete. And that put me at a rating of 1374, which puts me at about a class D player. On chess.com, I'm about 1500 to 1600. So this is what he says is close to about FIDE rating type of ELO ratings. Some interesting things to note is I felt like my middle game was something that was definitely lacking and it definitely is. Uh, this is where I feel like I lose a lot of my advantages. My end games are pretty strong as well as my attacks. I always thought my attacks weren't that great. I always thought that my defense was a little bit better and my defense is actually worse than my attack. The thing that kills me though is my calculation. This is something that I'm far below the rest of my scores as you can see. And so what I need to do is basically get better at calculating, which is like an all encompassing chess thing. So what I need to do here is I need to figure out how to get my calculation up. And I feel like every other aspect of my chess game is just going to completely go up because that 974 is, is disgusting to look at there. Moving forward in my chess journey, coming in over here to 2023, this is what I'll be focusing primarily on and getting better at is doing calculation. I'm thinking that it's probably gonna have to do with puzzles. I'm gonna probably get a book or two on how to improve my calculation skills so that I can better understand who's winning in a given position. And when you figure out the evaluation and calculation, you can find the winning move from there. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Look forward to that content here. If you want other great chess content to help you learn beginnings and games, that will be up here and I'll see you next time.